Good, good afternoon, everybody. So I'm coming from Japan. So uh, in Japan, we have much rain in June. So uh, so beautiful skies. So for uh, very very nice weather. So and uh, I used to, to be working with Dr. Patek uh, almost ten years ago. So um, and so thank you very much for your for inviting me. So uh, let's talk about uh, so uh, clinical difference between a pheochromocytoma and paragangliomas. So uh, between May 1981 and June 2015, so total 30, 35 years, uh, patient underwent tumor reduction, including adrenalectomy for pangli paraganglioma's or pheochromocytomas at our six institution were uh, enrolled. So uh, demographic data, uh, clinical perioperative data, uh, pathological findings and prognosis data were evaluated retrospectively. So Clinical difference between paragangliomas and pheochromocytoma are determined by uh, their char characteristics and prognosis. So, um, 80, pa 80 patients were included, of which 13 cases were with paragangliomas. Uh, so, that means, I know, 67 cases are pheochromocytoma. Uh, patients with paragangliomas have higher rates of clinical symptoms, uh, such as uh, uh, pain, headache, and nausea. 31%, so four cases of pa paragangrioma patients had malignant behavior, uh, of which only six uh, of pheochromocytoma were malignant. So, and so operative time, not, you know, uh, not so different, so not uh, significant difference. So also uh, tumor size also, and uh, blood pressure also, but you know, uh, as I told you, malignant rate is higher in paragangliomas, so. Uh, our data corroborate the uh, current opinion that paragangliomas has uh, higher malignant potential than pheochromocytomas. Uh, closer and longer follow-up is needed for patients, especially with paragangliomas, to reduce mortality caused by malignant progression. So, by the way, so I, I'm bringing uh, uh, prospect prospective data prospective uh, studies, so uh, pathological evaluation by PASS score. So in this morning, uh, introduced by uh, so, uh, somebody <laughs> uh, pass, about PASS scores. Uh, so this is a uh, Japanese uh, health and labor science research grant in Japan for interactive, in, interactive table on disease overcoming research project in 2009. <coughs> Actual condition of pheochromocytoma and preparation of medical treatment guidelines. So uh, many things. Uh, so uh, primary surgery, estimate number of patient. And uh, so uh, not so long period, just a three months. But survey period is a, survey period is a, a little bit more than one year, so. And so total enrolled 2,000, uh, 2,920 patient and benign malignant. And malignancy rate, so, and uh, malignant pheochromocytom, so this is uh, how to say, so uh, there are many cases of adrenal and monostotic, no metastasis and benign diagnosis, you see. 
needs, diagnosis, treatment, and follow-up, considering the possibility of malignant, even if it took benign. Uh, clinical issue of pheochromocytome. So malignant tumor rate is relatively high. Unable to diagnose whether it's benign or malignant on the first visit. Multiple or distant metastasis after a long term. Treatment has not been established. Oh, but you know, new treatment has already you know, introduced. <laughs> so investigators. So, uh, so uh, when I used to be working with Dr. Patek, uh, I was, we are using uh, some, you know, gene expressions. So, and uh, we try to, uh, you know, diagnose uh, malignant benign. So, uh, we have some uh, publications. So, uh, so, difficult to diagnose if it's malignant in early stage. So, urologist mind, so we see patient not so long, just one or two. Uh, years. Afterwards, so we send patient to uh, internal medicine. So, uh, so internal medicine f have to follow up uh, seven years to 20 years, so long. And so uh, they follow up uh, distant metastasis occur or death or mal So uh, 15 years on average, it is necessary to follow up in Japan. So after all, if we don't follow for 10 to 20 years, we cannot evaluate the malignancy. So, pheochromocytome is more likely to have more malignant cases than previously considered 10% 10 10 disease in my textbook also. These days, uh, familial, 27%, extra-adrenal ganglioma in extra-adrenal ganglioma malignancy, 15% to 20%. So totally, malignant rate is 30 to 40% in literature. So it is possible to diagnose clin uh, clinical pheochromocytome, whether it's benign or malignant. So, uh, Clinical findings, pharmac pharmacokinetics of catecholamines, so, and other laboratory findings, symptoms doesn't change, even if it's benign or malignant. So even diagnostic imaging can't be diagnosed as malignant unless it shows metastasis or distant invasion to surrounding organs. Judgment of metas metastasis when it occurs in other than Chromaffin itself. So, this is a trial. Separate tumors with potential for biologically aggressive behavior, pass score more than four from tumor that behavior benign uh, fashion, less than four. So, uh, second, all malignant pheochromocytoma has pass score of more than six. So this is uh, from uh, the other uh, articles. Patient with pass score of more than four must be closer, closer followed for possible, poss possible recurrence. So uh, this is uh, uh, from the uh, articles. Uh, pass score actually, uh, you know, uh, scored by microscopic findings. Capsular invasion score one, vascular invasion one, extension into the peri-adrenal adipose tissue two, what's it? So, and the other, uh, the other um, articles, Prognostic indicator of malignancy in uh, adrenal pheochromocytomas. So uh, they reveal, uh, uh, you know, malignant cases has a very high pass scores, 9, 7, 10, 36. So. And 
and attempting to diagnose malignancy based on the current pathological histological findings. So this is a you know, Japanese guideline, Fiocromo Saitomo guideline in 2012. Uh, KI, KI 67 staining positive rate, uh, consider malignancy 3% or more. Pass score consider, consider malignancy at four points or more. GAPP classification, this is a uh, Japanese scientist, Dr. Kimura uh, established this. Seven points or more have 100 metastasis rate. This is a, uh, today, I don't have any data about this. In current years, uh, pass score is being used internationally, okay? However, there are many exceptional exceptions and nothing has been established. So, KI-67, uh, clinically malignant, in clinically malignant uh, tumors, high, 40%, more than 3% positive cell. And pass score, more than six points, clinically malignant, uh, in clinically malignant tumor, 100%, but you know, clinically benign tumor, 40, only 40%, oh sorry, 14%, only 14%, so, uh, pass score is very useful. So, uh, we carried out clinical examination of 29 cases of pheochromocytoma at our hospital. Uh, pathological grade is scored by PASS score, which uh, were co correct to long-term follow-up. So 29 cases of pheochromocytoma between, uh, you know, we focus on the between uh, 1998 to September uh, 2012. So, because we can get the, you know, pathological uh, blocks. So, uh, 20, 26 cases without recurrence. We examined pass score. Uh, so, 22 cases of 26. Because, you know, we lost uh, <laughs> sample for, <laughs> lost sample and lost follow-up about four cases. So, uh, that could be evaluated pathologically. And, so, three of 29 patients uh, malignant diagnosed between uh, this term. So, this is a patient background. Average almost 40, uh, 40 years. Uh, gender male 20, female 9. No gender difference and localized adrenal 24, external adrenal uh, 5. So tumor diameter uh, median 48 something. MIBG uptake, uh, 23 cases, yes, no, four cases. So uh, this is a, a surgical uh, data. Uh, this is a, a pass score, total 22, pa 22 patient. So uh, seems to be a uh, cellular monotomy and nuclear polymorphism uh, seems to be high, you see, positive. So, uh, pass score more than four is 36%, uh, more than six, uh, 13%. Observation period, are, you know, one to uh, one month to 86 months, still we are looking forward. We don't have any, <laughs> we, are, we haven't yet not, we, we haven't yet got, uh, uh, you know, this uh, data, still, you know, ongoing. Plus, hopefully, you know, I, I can show you uh, next time. So, uh, anyway, so according to PASS score, sorry, 36% were uh, suspected of malignancy in this pathological examination. C careful follow-up is necessary in future. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your attention. My, my question, ladies, are sliding over here. Uh, do we have questions for Dr. Ross or Dr. Ross or Dr. Oda? One up front. How <coughs> how would one go about finding out what their past score is? How would somebody find out what their pass score is? Pass score. So uh, this is uh, from literature. But how would we ask our doctor to figure that out for us based on tissue sample? Or how yeah, yeah. If tissue that's sample. how we would find it out? Pathological, uh, pathological uh, so uh, the usual, you know, staining, H staining. From, uh, you know, H staining, pathological slice. Right. Preparate. So they already have the data, they just need to calculate the score yes, from that? Yes, oh, okay. 